This kind of occasion is now a regular fixture in Manfred Wittenstein's schedule. He recently took over as head of the German Mechanical Engineering Association. And this is all part and parcel of the job. Today, the 65-year-old is handing out awards for up-and-coming talent. These young physics students have developed a laser microphone. It was always my dream to become a physicist. Then I studied something different, industrial engineering and management. That wasn't a bad choice either. Wittenstein is also having to turn his talents to political lobby work. The Mechanical Engineering Association, VDMA, has 3,000 members. It's his job to stand up for their rights. The politicians often don't have any real understanding of economic structures. They live in a parallel world, in a virtual world, which has nothing to do with the problems of the economy. That's a big danger. His firm is based in Harthausen in the southern German state of Baden-Württemberg. He took over the company from his father at the end of the 1970s. At that time, the firm had a staff of 50. Now, 1,200 people work here. <laughs> Wittenstein manufactures gears and transmission units for tool-making machines, mostly for the aviation and medical sector. It's a very specialist business that requires the finest precision engineering. Business has been booming in recent years. In 2007 alone, turnover rose by 10%. But the firm is also beginning to feel the effects of globalization. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Morning. Everything okay? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And, uh, These new so staff members will only do a brief stint of training here. They're from Romania, where Wittenstein is currently setting up a plant. Both the manager and his new staff are looking forward to the start of operations. The Romanian plant will only manufacture very simple components. Production costs there are much lower than in Germany. There's a world that's not at the cutting edge of technology. Countries like China and India, they're threatening us from below with very simple products and we will have to make sure that they don't crush us. We will have to erect barriers, barriers in the form of simple products, but we can't manufacture these simple and cheap products in Germany. It's a big day for Wittenstein's daughter. There are changes afoot at the top of the family firm. Dr. Anna Katharina Wittenstein will join the management team in Switzerland from the 1st of March. I wish you the best. The Wittenstein family clearly doesn't have a shortage of new talent. Won't the father-daughter relationship suffer when you have to work together? We'll just have to see. <laughs> Up to now, we haven't had any big problems. Sometimes we spur each other on a bit, but it's only because we're ambitious. We enjoy a challenge. Then you fight? No, we just play around. That's okay. It's just a bit of teasing. My daughter treats me like that, and I treat my daughter that way.